Hi, good afternoon and welcome to the Printronics T5000 Energy Star Thermal Printer. We'll, t we'll discuss this afternoon a few minutes about the, uh, the, the many features and the many benefits of using the Printronics T5000 Thermal Line Energy Star Printer. So first we'll take a look at the printer itself. This happens to be a 5308, which is a 300 dpi, 8.5 inch wide printer. The good news about the Printronics pr product is this version also comes in a 6.5 inch wide version or a 4, and a half, a four inch wide version, which means that all the control panel things you see on this side are identical. Everything inside the printer, as we look at the printer inside, are going to be identical. The operator would uh, load the labels and ribbons identically, just uh, the same on all three products, whether it's four, six and a half, or eight and a half inch. So let's take a look at the loading of labels and ribbons. Uh, by opening this lever, the, the whole printhead assembly cantilevers out of the way, allowing the paper just to slide directly out and then slide directly in. In the same method, the ribbon assembly also slides directly off by taking a spindle and uh, sliding the ribbon directly off the ribbon. So there's no feeding of the ribbon through any guides or any assembly. They just slide directly on and slide directly off. The other unique thing is the, the, the ribbon could be 625 meters. So as an example, this is the largest ribbon that, that can be loaded on any printer in the industry, uh, which means less time the operator goes into the printer to change the ribbon. Four rolls of labels to one roll of ribbon. The other thing I mentioned that this printer was a 300 dpi printer. Uh, this uh, also can be replaced with a 203 dot per inch printhead. The printhead assembly, as I'm holding here, is uh, installed by the user. There's no tools required, and uh, we can update the printer's emulate or, uh, uh, dots per inch just by taking the 300 head out, putting the 203 head in, it, and now the printer recognizes it's now a 203 dot per inch printhead. So ease of use is a very it's very critical when you're installing labels and ribbons from an operator perspective. It's the easiest uh, way to do it in the industry with our particular device. You also notice the lid. Uh, the lid is friction held. It, held, it holds itself up, eliminating any issue with the lid falling down on somebody's hand, uh, which is very nice as well. We'll pull this around real quick. We'll talk about some of the options. On the back of the printer, uh, I'll show you that really quickly. On the back of this printer, we'll, we'll see uh, all the options we can have available for it. Basically, we have a general purpose input output option we can, we can use to uh, integrate with PLCs and conveyor systems. We have a USB 2.0, a 9 pin serial connection, a debug connection for our technicians. We have a Centronix parallel. This printer also has a, uh, a 10, a 10 100 base Ethernet connection and a wireless connection. So basically, two Ethernet addresses. So the printer can be configured however you want it even including two IPs, one for the wired and one for the wireless. From another option, one of the key options on the printer is actually the online data validation unit, which is this option right here. And basically, as, as barcodes are being produced, I'm just going to feed out a label here. As barcodes are being produced, this laser scanner beam actually scans the barcodes as they're being produced. And if it detects the bad barcode, watch what happens. This label has two barcodes on it. It detected a bad one because I blocked the beam. It voids that label out and reprints it again. So what you can see is the bad label was voided out with a checkerboard pattern and then reprinted again correctly the second time without any operator intervention. So very critical in where you have barcodes you're being produced. You don't want to ensure that no bad barcode gets in your supply chain. This is the only thing on the market that can do that for you without operator intervention to ensure the highest quality barcodes produced on your product. Uh, some other simple things that are very, very critical to on the shop floor, out in the plant, we have a slanted control panel, which is very nice because the operator can normally in a standing location, it doesn't have to bend over to look at the control panel because it's actually slanted. As you can see there, there's a little slant to it. 
Uh, also, there's a beacon light on top, which is very simple, but it warns, uh, tells the operator if it's online or offline if it's not on or blinking if there's an air condition. So this is just a short tutorial of the T5000 Energy Star printer. The Energy Star unit is the only, this is the only Energy Star certified thermal printer on the market today. So if you have green initiatives in-house, uh, this is the printer for you. If you have compliance issues in-house, this is the printer for you with the ODB. If you have multiple different other printer technologies in-house, this is a printer for you as well, because this printer is a multilingual printer. So not only does it speak Printronics graphic language, it also speaks Zebra, Datamax, Intermec, Tech, Sato, uh, Monarch, uh, code, QMS Code V, and it's the only printer on the market that can run uh, IBM's IPDS emulation as well. So if you're looking for a thermal printer that's built for uh, built for change and modification down the road and updating, uh, because these printers can also be updated to RFID as well, or come as an RFID unit, this is the printer for you. I uh, hope you choose Printronics in the future, and thanks a lot for your attention.